and we welcome you to this edition of TMAX Video Teachables. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to take a look at tricky plays at second base in a series I like to call Tricky Plays at Second Base. Okay, so a zero for creativity. This first one takes place in Oakland, where it's the bottom of the ninth inning. Houston leads 4-1. to one. We have a runner on first base and a ground ball up the middle. So there's a lot of things going on here as we take a look at this in the third base prism. For some reason, the shortstop's charging in. He makes a play. He bobbles it. We have a play at second base that is goofy as all heck. Trip Gibson, our second base umpire, he has to decide, is there obstruction? Does the runner uh, get obstructed by the shortstop? Is the second baseman on the bag when he catches the ball? And why didn't I cha- choose an easier pr- profession? Well, he gets all this stuff right. We'll show you more in a second. Then Brian Blake, <laughs> a whacker at first for Ryan. And uh, he gets that right. We'll find out later. So we'll slow things down for for a second. We have a runner on first base and nobody out in a four-run game. Maybe they were expecting a little push bunt, but the shortstop comes in, charges the ball, flips it to second. And on the replay, you can see really is an obstruction on this play. So we're going to have a that's nothing. But we don't want to give a that's nothing mechanic because then somebody might think, oh, he's saying safe. Uh that he's off the base. So we're just going to give like a standard out mechanic here, maybe a point if we can. And because uh, we have all these different decisions. The other thing we have here is we have one of those tricky plays where we want to get try to get to the shortstop side if we can, but it's going to be impossible here because the shortstop's coming right at us as he feels the ball. So Trip lets the ball clear up. Now he's going to be looking. He's not going to get sound here on a flip. That means you really try to get still here. Trip does a good job. And one of the things I love about this play is I remember coming to the locker room one time, and I had a really close play at first base. And the I said to the plate umpire, I was working a three-man game, I said, did I make get that call right? And the second, the, the third base umpire was inside in the middle. It's like, oh, no, you missed it. No, you missed it. He had a similar play at second base, and the plate umpire just, who was the crew chief, just rips into this guy going, how the heck could you see the play at first? Now, I want you to focus in, as we freeze it here for a second, on Trip Gibson's eyes. He's looking at second base. The ball is in the glove as he's giving a mechanic at the play at first. He has no idea what's going on going on at first base. This is awesome umpiring by Gibson. It's something you expect at the big league level. He doesn't care what's going on at first base. He doesn't have to care what's going on at first base. He needs to make sure there's no interference on this play. There's no obstruction. There's no pulled foot. And after all that, he's just going to give it an out call. So that is great umpiring by Gibson. And goofiness occurs. You can see the back end of the double play is correct. I want to go over a couple of things here to simplify. When you have a play like this, it's very important when you're in the middle to keep focused on everything that could happen at second base. In this case, obstruction added to the mix. Gibson, we don't see it in the video, but he gives an out. Then he kind of rings it up twice, trying to let everybody know that he's got for sure he's got an out call. That's a good bit of umpiring. You don't have to whack a play like this, but if you give an out call up in the air and then you double pump it a couple times, it lets everybody know that you saw everything. I'm sticking without, and he gets that play right. So this is the kind of play that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't look at and say, boy, that's a good one for a teachable. But you know what? I scour the world for these plays, and I get plays that a lot of other people don't, and hopefully you can learn a little from this play, and uh, it'll help you in your umpiring in the future. Have a comment? Leave it down in the comment section below. Like the video? Well, Click the like button, share the video, tell a friend about us, have a play for us, you want us to discuss, tweet us at umpire ejections or email us at info at closecallsports.com. And as we said before, if you have a comment on the video, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube or ring that bell so you can be the first to know when we drop a video. And thank you once again for all your support here at CCS. Until next time. Happy umpiring, everyone.